What's going on guys, it's Panjana here and today I'm going to bring you guys the ARC FPS fix that I have been working on for the past couple of days now. I've been going through different ways to get the best FPS in the game and I have pretty much found out the best way to get the best performance on any machine you currently have and keep the game looking fantastic. So first off what you're going to do is go down into the description below and you're going to see a RAR file called ARC FPS fix. Inside of that uh, RAR file, once you download it and extract it, you should have WinRAR or 7-zip to do that, you'll see these two files. Now inside of here, you need to take a quick note as to what resolution you normally run your game in. For me, it's 1080p, um, that's what my config file is set to. Now there are going to be more fixes in this, you've probably already seen this FPS fix before, but there's more things I'm going to show you to get your game running at around about, for me, I've gone from 20 FPS, and this is no joke, I've gone from 20 FPS to 120 to 150 FPS, that's stable as well. So um, what you want to do is if you're running at a different resolution, just edit the game user uh, settings, the I and I, and scroll down to where you see uh, resolution, which is there, and just change it to whatever your resolution is, otherwise your game will probably bug out. Besides that, what you need to do once you've got these two files is go into your Steam, and you need to locate Arc, right click on it, go to Properties, go to Browse Local Files, Inside of here, you want to go to Shooter Game, then go to Saved, go to Config, Windows No Editor, and inside of here is where you want to replace those files. So you drag these two in, replace the files in this destination, and then that's completely done. After that, uh, I don't think I have any launch options in here, though. No. There's no launch, launch options in this uh, FPS fix, because it's literally no need for it in Arc. Next, what you want to do, um, which will help out performance a fuck ton. Um, some people like this, some people don't, some people aren't bothered. But to be honest, I'm an FPS junkie. I prefer a game that runs well um, than a game that looks better. So what you need to do is go to your start button, go to your control panel, and go to system and security. After you've done that, go to system. Go to advanced system settings here on the left. Go to the advanced tab. So it says performance, hit settings, and then what I've done is for visual effects, I've hit adjust for best performance, and then I've got all these unchecked besides this and this. Just pause the screen if you want. You can re-apply uh, some of these if you want because your text is going to look weird. Um, your Windows experience might be a little bit different, but to be honest, I don't mind the text looking bad, and um, it doesn't load custom fonts on web browsers and stuff like that as well, which really, really, really helps with performance on the PC. As you can see, my system specs are there and below as well if you want to compare. Then what you want to do once in Arc is you want to hit play and launch the no sky effects. Uh, the low memory ones I haven't really been experimenting with too much, but I launched no sky effects. People are like, well the game kind of looks a bit crap like this. I don't think it does at all. I think the game looks absolutely fantastic um, running these settings. Uh, if we go to the options menu in here, then we can see what game options I'm running. So as you can see, I'm running everything on high and I'm getting, even in the menu, 102, 85 FPS. Um, what we want to do here is, this is really good for ARC as well, first off turn everything to the lowest besides resolution scale. Resolution scale uh, is something that makes the game look absolutely terrible if you even move it anywhere from the top. If you still get shit FPS after this entire fix, turn your resolution scale down and that might help as well. Besides that, what you want to do is go into game, see what these settings play like, if it's bad, turn these ones down to low. Uh, but what you want to do here is turn all this crap off, turn mesh level of detail all the way down, ground clutter all the way down, sky quality all the way down, all of these, check, uncheck all of them, no matter, even if your system can run these settings here, have them off because they just swallow FPS and it's just, oh, it's, it's horrible, there is no point to it at all. Um, then just hit apply. What you can do in game as well, which is really good with Arc, is most of the settings that don't see requires restart. You can change on the fly, so you just change this setting, hit apply, and you can see your FPS going down or up instantly. There's no glitching with Arc, which is actually really good. Um, so you can fine tune your game quite well. So once you've done that, uh, join a server. So I'm going to go and join just any old server, go to one of my survivors in or something. It really doesn't matter what server you join. Once you join a server, make sure you give the game about, I'd say, three minutes to load everything in properly, and then you'll see your FPS increase. You might join and be like, well, my FPS has increased a little bit, but surely it can be doing better than this. It's because it's loading in textures, it's loading in all the LED and stuff like that. Um, so let's just go. I recommend modded servers as well, not official ones. Uh, let's just go to uh, this, like, Dino Bait server here. Five people on. Uh, player count doesn't really matter on server performance all that much. As you can see in the top left, I think you should be able to see that FPS counter. If not, uh, you can probably see it in my recording software here at the bottom. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but um, anyway, I can just tell you the FPS anyway. I'm hoping you can see the FPS counter in the top left. So sometimes Ark can take a while to load in, so I'm just going to skip this part of the video until we're actually in the game. Um, oh, wow. It's worked like straight away. That's kind of cool. All right, spawn random location. I think my game's actually crashed on me. Nope, no, it hasn't. As I said, there you go, straight 150 FPS right here, right now. Um, as I said, the lighting in the game isn't, like, amazing. Um, things are kind of dark. I'm getting 50, 60 at the moment. Um, it will increase in a minute. And I'm recording at 60 FPS, you need to bear in mind, so mine will be lower than average anyway. Um, but with a 144Hz monitor like I've got, I prefer a game that runs well than looks better. I think every game should at least be running at 60 FPS no matter what. And like you can see now, I'm on 100 FPS, 84 FPS. Um, things are still loading in around me. I'm going from around about 60 to 100 at the moment, which is absolutely crazy. Because seeming that two days ago, I was running this game... I was struggling to get above 20 FPS on this game, which is kind of crazy. You can launch the game with SkyFX enabled, um, but you will take a bit of an FPS hit. But that way, your lighting won't look all that terrible. And you can go into the INI file, the game INI file that is. Sorry, not the game INI file, the engine INI file, and change things around in there. Fine tune it a bit. That's definitely what I recommend you do. Find the balance that you like. So, like I said, with these settings here you can change hit apply and save instantly and it's changed and you can um, visually see the difference and see what the uh, FPS difference does as well so definitely recommend fine-tuning your game because once you've done it you won't have to do it again there's also gonna be more improvements coming in the next couple of weeks days months on this game to increase FPS as well but for me I don't really need that anymore I'm happy with the way the game looks as long as you don't have resolution scale down the game looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion it's just a bit darker but uh, it doesn't mean that doesn't take away from the gameplay experience at all. I've, like I said, I've been having more fun with this game now I can run it properly at a decent frame rate than I have when it actually looked a little bit better but run like absolute shit. Because, um, yeah, 20 FPS on a game like this is not nice. It's got some PvP in it and stuff, and you're fighting things. Uh, it's a survival game. You should not really be getting low FPS. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if any more options are on your screen that aren't on mine, if there's a new update out or anything, just make sure you disable them. See what it's like. If it doesn't have an FPS hit and you like the way it looks, turn it back on. It really is about fine-tuning games like this. Um, other things you can do to improve your performance are things like updating your drivers on your PC, uh, you can go into NVIDIA control panel if you have NVIDIA control panel, change a few of the settings in there just by going like I'm doing here. I'll show you how to do that quickly. You can overclock. I uh, recommend clearing out your hard drive as well if you've got like 10 gig free, like the other day that was pretty much me. Um, as you can see I have 430 gigabytes free on my C drive which is where everything is, that's just my recording drive there. Um, that was about 5 gig free. That's helped a lot, seeming I've cleared nearly 500 gig worth of shit off of there. If you go into Manage 3D Settings in NVIDIA Control Panel, you can also uh, help yourself a lot here. When it loads, NVIDIA Control Panel can be a bit bugged. Um, you can turn like all these settings down, do stuff like power management mode here under the global setting. You can change that to prefer maximum performance, which is taking a little while to do. I think it's because I'm recording. Um, you can turn things like shader cache off, doing that stuff, hitting apply. That stuff really helps graphics cards on games like this, like prefer maximum performance. Um, change all these from quality to high performance. You can do all these things. Some of you guys may already know about stuff like this. Some of you guys may not. Just make sure it's in the global settings. And then just hit apply. Uh, for me, I'm not going to do that because it's having issues with my graphics card at the moment. But anyway, yeah. That's pretty much how you can sort your FPS on Arc, get the most out of your game, and uh, get the best experience possible. I'll be updating this uh, guide in the future as well. If you have a look in the description, there might be some more files you can replace. I will definitely keep you guys updated. If the game gets a massive update and it all changes, I'll make sure to do another one of these videos. But the game is awesome. One thing I said about it is it ran like shit, and it looked like shit back when it like first came out and two days ago for me. But now that it runs well, and I'm... I'm reasonably happy with the way the game looks when it runs well, so for me, I'm going to start playing this a lot more often, should be doing some videos on it shortly, and um, I'm overall enjoying the experience a lot more. Hopefully this video helped you guys out who have been struggling getting decent FPS on Arc and have been wanting to play the game or have been thinking about getting the game or have heard about shit FPS, you can fix it completely with this guide. Let me know your results in the comment section below. 
Also share this video around to your friends who are getting shit FPS, share it around on social media and whatnot, and uh, that would be really appreciated. Thank you very much for watching guys, make sure to like this video if it helped, comment if it didn't, if you need any more questions, comment as well and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching.